once he gets to state prison, he's a target. There's a green light on him from all the gangs, all the people that love Nipsey Hussle. And so his life in prison is going to be hell for as long as it lasts. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. We got Nipsey Hussle's killer, Eric Holder, in court being told by the judge, attorney. Basically, it's a wrap for you once you hit prison. I mean, he basically said it's a green light for all the gang members to get on your ass for killing Nipsey Hussle. In case y'all don't know, he was just stabbed up in the summer by two inmates. He's serving 60 years to life for the killing of Nipsey Hussle back in 2019. You know, it's definitely going to be hard for him once he touches down because, you know, everybody loved Nipsey. You know, I was a big fan of Nipsey Hustle, definitely one of my favorite rappers, and I don't say that too loosely. You know, I even went down to uh, California a while back, you know, to visit his Crenshaw store and all that. So, best believe, it's definitely going to be a rough road, and I ain't going to be too surprised if he ends up getting killed. Hey, it's just it is what it is. What you put out comes back to you. You know, I don't necessarily follow karma, but I do believe that, you know, what you put out comes back in some some sort of way, however you want to put it. Just know it's all bad for dude. I don't feel bad for dude. I don't even care at this point. You know, I'm past the point in my life where I be wishing harm on people and hoping bad happens to them. Hey, look. That's not for me to do, you know what I'm saying? It's going to happen regardless if I wanted to or not. But anyway, let me know in the comments how y'all feel about it. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.